One rookie's playing well, not everyone. Not all of these guys with their first cup of coffee are enjoying their Starbucks. Uh, I, I think it's a little harsh because some guys are holding their own, like Wyatt Langford. We got Jackson Holiday. We got Evan Carter. It's time for a rookie reevaluation. Let's start with Wyatt Langford because he is so many of our picks to win AL Rookie of the Year. Sure. He kind of flew through the minor leagues, just drafted last year. What do you make of his rookie season so Well, far? first of all, Greg, I don't think you can paint everybody with the same brush. Number okay. two, I don't think it's more art than science, meaning that you got to know the player and you got to understand what's making him. You know, he's holding his own. For me, though, I look at it, he's had very little time in AAA, and I want him to dominate. So if, if it doesn't turn for me at some point in time here in the next few weeks, I'm probably going to let him catch his breath dominate a triple-A, and then try to bring him back because I don't want him feeling he doesn't belong there. Okay, you agree with that? I do. And and when I looked at the numbers, he's got a 333 on base. So he's he knows the strikes on okay. I think all the hype around him was the power numbers, the power numbers. That hasn't come. They say the power comes later, but this guy, I mean, he was playing in the SEC last year. Right. You know, like he's flown through the system. And that daily, day-in, day-out game, of professional baseball is big is a big difference from the college game. So if he needs that just to get in the groove, let him go 10 games, dominate, bring him back up, I would have no We're issue. We're all waiting for his first homer. We were waiting for this guy's first hit for a long time. Jackson Holiday, hitless again today. He's hitting 040. Dan O'Dowd, how do you reevaluate Jackson Holiday so far? I feel no different about him. Opposite. This kid's dominated every level of the minor league system. You just leave him alone. He's going to catch his breath at some point in time. The game's going to slow down, and he's going to rake. So I just let this one roll. I would, too, because he played the full year last year. And then he went through every system, had great numbers in AAA. I think once he understands and goes through the, the motions of facing these pitchers, that chase percentage is going to go down. He just needs a couple, you know, a flare and a line drive. Can we bat him somewhere else in the lineup? Does he have to hit ninth? He's never hit ninth his entire life. It's all right. He's just taking some pressure off of him right now. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to hit him third? No, it's him. all about confidence, right? Yeah. He walks up and sees the lineup card. He's batting ninth. That's okay, a pretty so good team. Jackson Holiday, uh, we're not worried about him. What about the postseason hero, Evan Carter, Dan? Are you worried at all? No, not at all. Okay. You know, on base percentage, slug is okay. This guy dominated in the most important moments at the highest level of our game. He's never failed before, so I just want to see what adjustments he's going to make to the little bit of failure he's going through. But I'm all in on this young man. This is chalked up a slow start for me. I like he's still getting on base. He's okay. They He'll move him all over the lineup. Yeah, it's fine. He's going to be fine. No worries. No. Could, could, a little change of pace. Consistently batting ninth has to be hard for Jackson. 